So here's my um, next UFC, which is a fight night. It's uh, Saturday the 13th of January. Um, my predictions. So I've got the got the fight card up over here, and then the obviously prelims are starting off with if these fights go through. Obviously, we're two weeks out. We've got Joshua Van versus Felipe Bunes first up. No odds on these guys, but I've never seen them fight either, either of them. Joshua Van, Felipe Bunes, just because I've got to pick one. <laughs> I'm going to go with Joshua Van, the flyweights. Um, Next fight is, again, no odds, Nicholas Motta versus Tom Nolan, um, Brazil, Australia, I think I'm just going to pick Tom Nolan from Australia, lightweight bout. Then we've got, <coughs> no pictures on the fight, but it's got odds, Weston Wilson versus Jean Silva. I think I'll go with the minus 750, which is Weston Wilson. And then we've got Fareed Basharat versus Taylor Lapilus. Minus 250 is Fareed Basharat, so definitely going to go with Fareed. Um, Marcus McGee versus Gaston Valanos. No odds on that. US versus Peru. Mm, I think I'll go with Marcus McGee, Bantamweight. Then we've got Matthew Semmelsberger versus Preston Parsons. One eighty five minus one eighty five favourite. That one's at well weight. I think I'll go with Semmelsberger. I think he's grappler. <clears throat> Heavyweight bout. Andre Olovsky versus Waldo Cortez Acosta. I never really like betting against Andre Olovsky, but I think, honestly, I think minus 395, Dominican Republic. Cortez Acosta's got a probably is it's probably half his age. <laughs> I reckon that is probably gonna beat Arlovsky and then I think if Arlovsky does lose this, I think he's gonna end up retiring. I'm st I was surprised to see him on the fight card. Phil Hawes versus Bruno Ferreira. I think Ferreira is minus 120, but I would have picked him in anyways. Um, Ricky Simon versus Mario Bautista. I think uh, is th these are pickums like, but I think Ricky Simon, if he fights anything like he has in the past, he should win that one. But that's going to be a close, a good close fight. Then we've got another lightweight fight. <clears throat> Jim Miller, Gabriel Benitez. This is the first one where I'm going to pick the underdog. It's a close one, like plus one or two. But I'm going to pick Jim Miller in that one. Uh, Mafias Nicolau versus Manel Cape. I can't remember seeing any of either of them fighting. Brazil, Portugal, I think there's a, Manel Cape's a minus 218 favourite, so I'd like to pick I'd pick him. And then obviously the main event is Magomed Ankalaev versus Johnny Walker. Now, 
honestly think Ankolaev is going to just wrestle him and tire him out. But if he doesn't, and Ankolaev is known a stand and strike as well. I see. I love. I love Johnny Walker. <laughs> he's such a fun dude. But I just don't know how he's going to win this fight. So, obviously, I think Ankolaev is going to win that one. It's just going to take keep taking him down and what tire him out. And that's normally where Johnny Walker loses his fights. Gets tired out and then gets dropped. So that's the picks for the UFC fight night. Saturday the 13th or Sunday the 14th. If you're in the UK like me. And that's my picks for the, this next upcoming. I thought I'd get it in early on New Year's Day. Um, obviously I'll go through and do my picks and then put a bet slip on as well like I did last time.